Hello everyone, welcome back to Plexus Tutorials. Recently I have been asked by a friend to make a tutorial for him on how to calculate the bearing capacity of a square shallow foundation based on a prescribed settlement. Uh, what is the prescribed settlement? It means we uh, impose the foundation to undergo a certain settlement value and what is the maximum required load corresponding to that settlement value. Uh, as you see this is our example uh, the foundation is a sh shallow square foundation uh, 2 meter by uh, if we uh, look at from the top it's 2 meter by 2 meter and the thickness of the foundation is 0.5 meter uh, to avoid uh, the effect of boundary condition on the bearing capacity of shell foundation we choose the geometry of the soil to be uh, 10 meter wide and 10 meter long and also the height of the soil layer is 10 meter the soil is uh, composed of one layer the properties of the soil are listed here and uh, the, fo the foundation I material is uh, concrete uh, also the properties are listed here as you see to uh, reduce the calculation uh, time of numerical analysis we are going to model only one quarter of the example as you see uh, in here we are going to model only 5 meter by 5 meter of the swill geometry and 1 meter by 1 meter of our foundation ok I open the plexus I am going to uh, create a new project uh, in here I have to choose a title for our example any title we can uh, write for example I uh, write uh, shallow foundation uh, the dimension of the soil contours I have to uh, define the dimension of the soil contour uh, x maximum is 5 meter and y maximum is 5 meter ok now we uh, defined uh, the contours of our soil model but I have to define the borehole for our soil I click here create a borehole and after clicking the borehole I, ca I can click anywhere to define the uh, soil layer for example I uh, just click here and add a soil layer uh, as I said the soil layer is uh, 10 meter in height I write uh, from 0 to minus 10 meter and the head which means the groundwater table I keep it as uh, 0 which is the worst case but I have to define the material for the soil layer I, go, I click here materials and I choose soil and interfaces and click new in here I have to write the name for our so for example I write the soil as an identification for the material I'm also going to use the more column uh, criteria model and drain condition uh, the unsaturated and saturated unit weight the unsaturated means dry unit weight it is 14.3 okay the dry unit weight is 14.3 and the saturated unit weight is 16.4 16.4 the parameters of the soil the modulus of elasticity is 20 thousands kilonewton per square meter and uh, the void ratio is 0.3 the cohesion is 
two kilonewton per square meter and the phi which is the internal friction angle of the soil is 31 I keep the other parameters as a default and I click OK I have to assign the defined material to the borehole I just click and drag it and drop here now the soil the soil uh, layer is defined but also I have to make a material for the concrete square foundation I go to material I'm going to use the plates for defining the footing new I just give a name which is single footing uh, the thickness of the footing is 0.5 meter the unit weight is 24 uh, we are going to use isotropic material the elasticity of the concrete is this value as you can see and the poison ratio for the concrete is 0.2 now I finished defining the concrete material for our foundation I click OK OK the next step I have to make the excavation for the footing the excavation is 1.5 meter from the top of the soil so I have to go to the structure and click the surface which is one meter by one meter and escape I have to extrude this surface uh, minus 1.5 meter or 1.5 meter to the down I select the surface and click extrude object minus 1.5 apply ok also as you see the foundation is located 1.5 meter from the top of the soil geometry so I have to create a plate in here uh, how can I do this I I have to select the surface and click uh, create array icon and choose 1d in z direction minus 1.5 5 meter ok uh, now I have to I can uh, delete this surface I can hide this uh, volume to uh, define uh, the to define the square foundation I click the surface and right click on it and create plate also I have to assign the concrete material to the foundation I click the material and just by dragging now okay now I assigned the concrete material to the foundation Uh, next step I'm going to define the prescribed settlement I will use create point prescribed displacement but before I do that I have to I have to go to the option and visualize visualization setting and 
decrease the spacing to I have to decrease the spacing to 0 0.5 meter and click point prescribed displacement so I just click shift and go down to minus 1.5 meter and click the center of the foundation okay I defined the prescribed displacement in here I can hear the displacement in X and Y direction is free but in Z direction I have to prescribe it and the value is uh, 25 millimeter it means minus 0 0.0 25 meter now the we completed the geometry and structure of our example the next step is to mesh our model in here I click the mesh menu and uh, create mesh in here we have uh, very coarse, coarse, medium, very fine and fine mesh. For example, if I choose very fine mesh, maybe it will take a lot of time. Uh, that's why I'm going to use just coarse mesh. Okay. I can see the mesh in here. actually this is a very coarse mesh just for uh, learning purpose okay now I'm going to to the staged construction in the staged construction I have to uh, define some stages for example one stage uh, is predefined by the software which is initial phase and uh, I will define another phase for excavation. I will change the name to excavation. And uh, add another phase for installing the foundation. Also, the final phase uh, is for a prescribed uh, settlement. In the final phase, uh, I will check the reset displacement to zero and OK. In the initial uh, phase, the whole model is active. Uh, for the excavation, I have to deactivate the uh, excavation volume, which uh, need to be excavated just by right click and uh, choose deactivate. In the foundation phase, I have to check the plate to install the foundation. As you see, when I check the uh, plates, the foundation appears here. And the last phase, I have to check the point displacement, uh, which is uh, 2.5 centimeter. Uh, okay, and for uh, drawing uh, the low settlement curve uh, I have to define a point at uh, the center of the foundation uh, in here select point for curves I just click it and 0.5 meter by 0.5 and the foundation is located uh, minus 1.5 meter in here in here I'll check this node and as you see when I check the node it appears here also after that click update and now the whole example uh, is ready and everything is defined so it is uh, ready to calculate in here I will start the calculation process.
Now the calculation uh, process is finished and if I want to know uh, what is uh, the maximum load corresponding uh, to 2.5 centimeter I just click in the final step which is uh, settlement and click here in here <coughs> uh, the force in Z direction reached total force for Z which is uh, 204.2 kilonewton also in here I can uh, uh, see the result for example uh, I can go to the deformation menu and choose this one this is the uh, deformation uh, contour lines and if I want to draw the curve between uh, the lot and the settlement this is the curve curves manager icon I clicked and create new in the X direction I choose the project which is uh, the force in Z direction and for the Y direction I choose this point and which is the deformation and uh, deformation in Z direction uh, now I can see the maximum uh, load corresponding to 2.5 centimeter settlement is about 200 kilonewton